having problems with acceleration, like it's only going up to 20 miles per hour, or you know you just need a new speed sensor, then I'm gonna show you what to do. First, I would recommend making sure you make sure your uh, wheel lug nuts are torqued to 100 to 110 foot pounds. On this vehicle, this is a 2008 Chrysler 300, and uh, see if then the lights go off. Um, if not, then I'm gonna show you how to fix the wheel sensor, including all the items and tools you need. You're gonna need, uh, of course, a floor jack, a jack stand. You'll need a flat tip screwdriver to take off the centerpiece. Then you're gonna need a... The 21 millimeter socket is used on the factory lug nuts, but I did get newer ones and I'm now using a 19 millimeter socket for this vehicle. Uh, anyway, you'll also need the breaker bar. First, you'll put the PB blaster on the lug nuts, spray it down, then you'll use your uh, the correct socket and breaker bar to get it off. You also might need a cheater bar right here or just a long pipe. If you can't remove your, your wheel lug nuts, you can also have a lug nut remover socket set that might help or if it's a you're having a really hard time getting that tire off like I did previously in fact I made a separate video on how to get off the lug nuts and this is the uh, extractor I used um, but again I have a separate video you can use to watch uh, hopefully you can just use an impact driver to get the lug nuts off it's also good to have a socket set just in case anyway once the tire is off then you're going to need a, of course flashlight and you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket and you might want to use some PB blaster and a ratchet to get it off then you'll use a flat tip screwdriver again to pry off the piece go ahead and grab some electric parts cleaner just clean you up clean that up area that area up and maybe use a like an air can and then you finally get to install this. So that was the quick process, and now I'm gonna actually show you how to do it step by step. Go ahead and jack up the car. Make sure you put a jack stand underneath. Just remove all the lug nuts. After removing the tire, go ahead and turn steering wheel okay right here this is a 10 millimeter socket so just go ahead and grab a ratchet or socket or impact driver and take it off this was some parts cleaner Get all those loose pieces out with the air can. Go ahead and get a flat tip screwdriver and you're gonna just pry this up. Cool, let's pull that out. Get your air can. Okay. Okay. Took that off. And go ahead and put it in. Push it all the way in. Okay, just go ahead and put the clip back in, in the groove. Might be able to see it right here. And it's on the other side, and then you just push it down. There we go, get a nice snap sound. After it's snapped in, go ahead and just clip it back on. Okay.
going to uh, hand screw this bolt in, the 10 millimeter bolt. but you don't want to make it too tight. There is no torque set recommendations for this. Great. The wheel speed sensor is now in. The clips are on. Of course, the next thing to do is just to go in reverse and to put the tire on and the lug nuts and then to torque the tire to 110 foot pounds. If you're hand tightening it, just tighten it just a little bit. After putting the wheel on, just make sure you remove your jack stand and then just slowly lower the vehicle. Final thing you're going to do is grab a torque wrench or I'm going to use a ratchet with a torque wrench digital adapter and set it to 100 to 110 foot pounds. And you're going to do this in a star shaped pattern. So it doesn't matter how you start, but you're going to go, let's say, here, 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 here. Keep tightening it and then just check it again. And that's it. So that's how you remove and install a new ABS wheel sensor, speed sensor. Just be prepared. So remember, if your ABS sensor can come off with ease and you can put a new one in, great. And this job won't take that long to do. Uh, but keep in mind, it could get stuck, so you'll have to drill it out. But anyway, that's how you install a brand new ABS wheel, sp wheel speed sensor.